Ryan, Chris, Brennan, Ted, Dev Tools. Hey guys, uh, Chris here. Uh, and I know it's been a while, and I want to start off by apologizing for that. Uh, it's one thing to not make videos for a while, but it's another thing to leave it unexplained. Uh, so, I'm here to explain everything. We have been making videos uh, for the past couple months, uh, and uh, I'll just get right down to it. It's because we've kind of fallen away from wanting to do it. Um, and I'll explain how exactly we got there and why. But the bottom line is that uh, TF Tools or Toolbox will no longer be making content on either this channel or on Twitch. Yeah, and that, and, and I'm sorry to say that, and I'm, I'm sure you know some of you are going to be a little bummed at that. Um, but you know, I'm going to try to explain why, and hopefully you kind of understand uh, where we're coming from uh, when we say that we don't really want to make any more content. Uh, first off, I will just say that this is not because you know we've fallen apart as a group. Uh, in fact, kind of the opposite. Uh, we've only grown closer from TF Tools and Toolbox, and uh, we still, you know, play games with each other every single night. So yeah, let's step back here. Let's. Uh, I want to talk about why the channel started, when it started, and um, and I think that'll give you a better idea of why we're at where we are now. Um, okay, so as of let's see today when I'm recording this, but you know I don't know exactly know when I'm going to be getting this up. It is actually our one year anniversary from the first time we posted a video on YouTube. And we started the channel um, just kind of as a way to pass time and try our hand at something that we wanted to always wanted to do. Um, we weren't expecting any sort of success to come out of the channel. We really just wanted to uh, play games together, have fun, edit it, um, and kind of put it out there. Um, and we made our first video, which was Milked for Death. Um, and yeah, and it was really fun to do and really fun to record and edit and I was really happy with the product. And we posted it on r slash TF2 and the response was unbelievable. After that first video, the response was so great. You know, we made more and we just kind of kept developing. We created two different series, Challenge Night and Shenanigans. And we played that and we were loving it for a long time. Uh, and then TF2 started to sour for us a little bit. And kind of what happened was because we were streaming it, and playing it for videos, and it was also kind of the only game all four of us played together, besides Smite. Um, it got stale. Uh, or I wouldn't even say the game got stale, we just wore ourselves out. We were still making videos uh, in it at the time, um, but we wanted to branch out, so we played other games, like uh, I know we did Just Cause, I think we did Worms. Those videos, I actually liked them. Uh, for the most part, but they, you know, they weren't getting the best response, and you know, it's whatever. We continued doing TF2 videos, and then it got to the point where we straight out just weren't enjoying TF2 anymore. And again, that's not the fault of the game, but we were just the the channel was was getting to be no longer enjoyable. We weren't enjoying recording TF2, and we thought the quality of the channel would would suffer because of that. Um, and we wanted to branch out and try our hand at other games as well. So that's when we actually did the rebranding um, and became Toolbox. And it started okay. I don't know. The, the problem with Toolbox was that we decided to go kind of mainstream gaming videos kind of route. Just kind of playing whatever. I know we played like Gary's Mod and all that stuff. And what I didn't like was just how unoriginal our content had become from doing that. We were enjoying the recording sessions, but we weren't enjoying the final product because it was stereotypical, it was done before, there was really no reason for, in my opinion, for anyone to watch our videos over someone like some mainstreamer video like, I don't know, CNanners or something like that. There was no reason for us to really exist at that point because at least when we were doing TF Tools, I think that there was a glimmer of originality where we were coming up with new ideas every week and doing things in a game that has a very lively and great community. Uh, so these new videos are coming out, and some of you liked them, some of you didn't, and I totally get why those of you didn't. Um, and then we tried something else again. We were like, okay, so let's let's focus more. Let's try to be original again. And so we tried to create uh, 2v2, or we did create 2v2, rather. 
and um, we recorded the first episode of that in Gary's Mod, and I actually loved that recording. That was some of the most fun I've had recording a video for Toolbox or TF Tools, and um, it was amazing, and I actually think the video turned out really great. Um, and then we tried it again with Portal, which we kind of realized the format wasn't really working for us. Um, we released uh, Call of Duty 2v2, and we recorded one more 2v2, and we all kind of sat down, we went out to dinner or whatever, I don't really remember, but we had a heart-to-heart, -heart, and we just asked ourselves, are we enjoying this? Why are we doing this? And do we want to continue? And answer to are we enjoying ourselves was no, uh, pretty across the board. Um, question of why are we doing this um, was for our enjoyment. Uh, we never got into this, kind of jumping back to where it started. We weren't expecting success. We weren't expecting money, uh, although some money was made and that was nice. We didn't need it necessarily, nor was it the motivation to ever make a video. And the question of, do we want to continue doing it? And, you know, this was a little bit more mixed, but I think overall, as a group, we decided that it would be a good idea to take a break. Um, and, you know, a lot of people had things going on in their lives at that point, you know, whether it was school or work or we all had things to focus on and there was no need for toolbox or TF tools to fill a void of, you know, time. Um, so there was really no need or no desire for us to continue making videos. The decision for us to take a break was not an easy one. We did not want to leave our community behind, whether through Twitch or YouTube. Um, but we had to weigh the pros and cons of continuing to make content and it just made more sense for us at that time to take the break. And so we took the initial break and we enjoyed it so much that we extended it and extended it. Um, and eventually it got to the point where we all sat down again and said, why continue, why start up again um, when we're all kind of enjoying our lives right now and playing games with each other for the fun of it and focusing on our school or our work. Um, so yeah, as far as this channel is concerned, there will be no more content released after this video. Um, of course, all of our old content will still be here if anyone feels the need to go back and watch anything. Um, but yeah, if anyone is looking for new content to consume, um, as far as TF2 goes, uh, for YouTube, obviously check out Musulk, uh, a friend of ours, and he's been doing really great lately, so I'm sure you already know about him. Uh, lesser known, check out UEAK Crash. Uh, his link will be in the description below. He's a great, uh, TF2 mapper and YouTuber. And as far as Twitch goes, I want you to check out, uh, our moderator. Uh, and friend Gamma Orianis. She has a Twitch stream that she plays a lot of TF2 on, and she's awesome. And in addition to that, actually, Brennan is starting his own Twitch adventure um, that I think you guys should all check out and be a part of. He's doing it on his own personal channel, and he's, uh, you know, trying some things out, playing a lot of different games, and I definitely think you should check him out. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for listening to me ramble and for coming along with us on this trip that unfortunately was just a year long, but we enjoyed it nonetheless and we hope you did too. Thank you so much.